Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for actually reaching out. We appreciate you. And, and we are so much glad to be bringing you this news at this particular point in time. Quickly, I want to crave indulgence to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Also, do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate the support. And I'll see you on the other news. Femi Adesino, desperate to mend fences with the new chief of staff. 12 years after damning newspaper article. Wow. According to informed Asurok sources, Adesino, knowing the importance of the office of Gambari, or knowing the importance of the office Gambarina occupies in the president's administration, has been writing persuasive articles, but using the names of other persons to push them out to the public in a desperate move to soften the heart of the new chief of staff and make him forgive and forget the incident of the past. This is serious tension in Asorok, if you ask me. Well, Worried by the dust raised by a newspaper article he wrote against Professor Ibrahim Gambari, the new chief of staff to the president, Muhammad Buhari, in 2008. Special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, is said to have adopted a new way to repair any sort of damage that that article might have caused to his relationship with the ex-United Nations diplomats. According to informed sources in Asurok Villa, Adeshina, knowing the important, importance of the office that Gambarena occupies, is, has been writing persuasive articles and using other people to push the articles out to the pub public in a desperate move to soften the heart of the new chief of staff so that he can forgive and forget the incident of the past. Sources also said that Adeshina had been using Asorok mail distribution lists to circulate the articles in order for them to hit maximum reach. Well, recall that Adeshina had in his column on Saturday, July 12, 20, 2008, in the Sun newspaper, said, Gambari enslaved himself to please his pay masters by defending the hanging of Ken Sarawiwa and others by the late General Sani Abacha military regime. Femi Adeshina's article, the, next, the slap next time, was first published on July 12, 2008 in Saturday Sun newspaper. He wrote, Gambari enslaved himself to please his paymasters. Now, 13 years after, the shackles are still tied around his neck, threatening to asphyxiate him. What an eternal lesson for frowning, bootlicking grovelers to learn. Old sins, indeed, have long shadows. However, in one damage control article seen by Sahara reporters on Wednesday, the writer believed to be additional, but hiding under another identity. While justifying the 2008 missile to Gambari, wished both presidency officials a good working relationship in the service of President Buhari and Nigeria. The article expressed optimism that, Buh that additional would find it easy to get along with the new chief of staff whom was encouraged to allow the past sleep away forever. The article expressed optimism that Adeshino would find it easy to get along with the new chief of staff, whom was encouraged to allow the past sleep away. The article reads partly, President Buhari and Adeshino are great friends who deeply respect each other. For Buhari, Adeshino is a bosom friend 
united in the quest for a new Nigeria. When Adesina's mom passed, passed on in the days of our struggle for his enthronement, General Buhari attended her burial. You can count on the times he had honored anyone in that manner on your fingertips. To underscore their bond, it may interest you to recall that Adesina was the very first person given appointment by President Buhari after he assumed office in 2015. I was notified as soon as Adesina arrived at Transcorp Hilton Hotel, Abuja. I am certain Adesina would find it very easy to get along with Professor Ibrahim Gambari as Chief of Staff because they are united in their resolve to give the president the best of themselves. Adesina, being a cultured Yoruba man and a good Christian, will respect and support Professor Gambari not only as a matter of duty, but in conformity with cultural etiquette of accord according of according elders respect due our parents and biblically as though serving god nothing will obstruct that not any mischievous reference to an old article i am quite certain the article would have would have no impact on professor gambari's attitude to adishina as a thoroughbred academic who for who for whom Criticism, I beg your pardon, for whom criticism is a norm and as a cosmopolitan world citizen who has waded through many troubled waters, seeking peace across the world during his stint as super diplomat and under secretary, under secretary general with the United Nations. I wish both Professor Gambari, our father, our teacher and my brother Adesina a good working relationship in the service of President Muhammad Buhari and Nigeria. According to the sources, since the death of Buhari's former chief of staff, Abba Kiari, Adesina and fellow presidency spokesperson Garba Shehu have found their stay at the villa shaky. Shehu had Shehu had a well prophesied standoff with First Lady Mrs. Aisha Buhari in December 2019, where she accused him of causing crisis in the first family. On the other hand, Adesina's position has come under intense threat following the emergence of Gambari, who he once tore into shreds in his newspaper column. With Kiari gone, the protection both men enjoyed in the villa by being loyal to him has since been stripped off them, thereby exposing them to any type of attack. It was gathered that more of such strategic and fence mending articles will surface in the coming days and weeks as Adesina desperately ties, tries to settle old scores with the occupier of one of the most powerful offices in the country today. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Uh, it is really, really um, <laughs> a dicey one, if you'd ask me. But be that as it were, life is all about um, faces and life is all about learning, unlearning and relearning. The situation that um, Femi Adesina has found themselves right now is one of the situations whereby... Uh, you just have to understand that in everything you do, you need to be careful and you need to think of the future, think of tomorrow, and think of the repercussion of what might happen or what might end up being. So guys, be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? How do you see the situation of things? Will Gambari overlook and forgive? Will he have carried such in mind but be that as it were the article of 13 years ago does it still have any bearing on um gambari as it were today he is occupying a wonderful position a bigger position you know uh quite all right but 
has the article actually stopped him from progressing, stopped him from being a better person, as it were? Probably no. So one would um, expect that um, bygone would have been bygone, and um, everybody would focus on the future and on better things, on working. Well, it remains to be seen how things would unfold, but from uh, the feelings that we're getting, you know, um, Femi Adeshino uh, might just be, um, you know, in some trouble or might just be shaky as a result of his uh, particular issue. So what, let's see what is going to be happening in Asorok anytime soon. Don't forget, the First Lady uh, is said to be in charge as her right-hand person is actually, you know, occupying that position, as it were. Well, let's take a few, uh, let's see how it goes, and um, drop out the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.